Maga again on, and this is a bit of truth most people can't swallow. I'm going to get into this supposed be dog right here, and I'm going to show you the government manipulate you with the dog right there. So, what you have to understand, you know, you having a pet, this is one thing you need to pay attention to, if you have a pet. So, yes, you hold a pet hostage. You hold an animal hostage. Now the animal is under your supposed be care and all of that. That's not even right. But this is what they teach us to do in this world. I do have pets also, but dogs basically. And, you know, I understand this from a longer time in my life. I understand that, yes, we all in these, these animal hostage, you know, doing what we want to do with them. You know, cutting their hair and doing all of these things. And if the dog is a natural animal is on earth, if they're natural they don't need all of that from the human being. They don't need your assistance for say. They don't need to be locked up in a house and home and all of that stuff. You understand? The dog is what they can do. What they can do in life, that's what they're supposed to be able to do and have the freedom to do. Not to be housing up with you and all of that. So yes, the government teach you to do that just like how they do us. That's all. But one thing you need to understand, if you have a pet, they're going to use it to manipulate you, 100%. That's why they have everything different for dog. They make dog food and everything separate from your food. You understand? Yes, you have to do different things for the dog. <laughs> you don't get it, people. It's all a setup. Now, I'm going to show you how they're going to manipulate you with the dog right here. With the supposed be cold and flu. Pay attention. Remember, they tried to tell you in the pandemic that, yes, a few dogs have the COVID. But I guess they was trying out that, exper that experiment to try to bring that out on the masses. But I think they would have a lot of roadblocks in bringing out that the human being, you know, giving the dog COVID. You understand? So what they have to do, they have to back up, go back to the lab again. And now they come up with a flu for the dog. That's all. That's what they're doing. Now they can get to manipulate you using the dog and the same call and flu that they use to manipulate you. Listen right here. Tonight, more questions than answers about a mysterious, sometimes fatal mm -hmm. illness that's making dogs sick across Listen. the U.S. Uh -huh. And they mention across the U.S. So they're telling you that it's a U.S. problem right here with the dogs getting sick from call and flu-like symptoms. Listen. Researchers in Texas now Look. believe the illness is a Look virus that begins... Hold on this, hold on, look at this right here. This show you that the world is a stage. Look what, what they did to the dog right there, just to show you the dog of the flu. The same way they show the human being stringed up with wire and hoses and patches. The same trick they use on the masses, right here they're using with the dogs. Look. This is a virus that begins mm -hmm. with symptoms similar to the common Listen. cold in dogs. But similar to the common colds in dogs. So now they're telling you that the dog used to have the common call and flu just like you. And now <laughs> they have a virus that got the same symptoms just like you. Listen. One that can suddenly turn deadly. Mm -hmm. Here's KVU's Bob Buckaloo. The Texans love their dogs. More than four in every ten households across the state has at least one dog as a pet. Mm -hmm. News of the mystery illness that's been fatal to dogs in 14 states Listen. has some that are... 14 states... And they're telling you pet lovers and how they love their dogs and all of these things. This is all programming. 100% in. Listen. Very clinics in Texas reporting mm -hmm. an upsurge in calls from worried pet owners. Mm -hmm. We are getting calls all the time. Mm -hmm. And even my own mother texted me uh, the mm -hmm. other day. What begins as a cough, sometimes known as kennel cough, eventually gets worse. Some dogs don't survive. You hear that, people? They're coughing a lot now. And some of them don't survive. Listen. Researchers at one of the state's largest veterinary medical schools mm -hmm. at Texas A&M now believe the disease is a virus since it's not responding to antibiotics. You hear that, people? It's a virus that not responding to antibiotics. So there you go, people. Remember, they just tell you that the human being have a supposed be bacteria that they're picking up most in hospital settings. And it not responding to antibiotics. So this is similar right here. They're telling you take over the dog. Another order, other chaos. Just believe me when I tell you. You see, once they start telling you about these symptoms and, 
and disease in the dog, they're going to come up with a vaccine for the dog. You have to remember that. Remember, the dog already got shot up like you. Just in case you don't understand that, they also shot and chipped the dog. <laughs> a lot of people don't understand that. So I mentioned that they use the dog to manipulate you. I'm not lying. They chip the dog. Not for your reason. Just in case the dog lost? No. You don't have access to that chip information. You don't know what kind of data the chip is sending back. So yes, you have the dog around you all the time in your home. It could be sending back data to the peoples with the chip that the dog carry. You don't know how sensitive or sophisticated that chip is. But they have to chip every single dog. Does that tell you something? You better pay attention. They can use the dog to collect data from you. Just like they have a, you have a Roomba in your home cleaning your home and he collecting data and send it back to the peoples. How big is your house? What you got in there? The furniture and everything. So it's the same thing. They plant the dog in your home as a bug. 100% in. They vaccinate him, chip him, all of them things. Just like they do to you. Listen. No cases have been mm -hmm. confirmed in Texas. That doesn't mean it's not already here. Mm -hmm. Respiratory already diseases here. and dogs mm -hmm. in general are not reportable diseases. Yeah, that. So if I see a mm -hmm. dog with respiratory symptoms, I don't have to call a state department. Yeah, when did you ever see a dog with that kind of problem, basically? What they're doing, coughing up mucus, sneezing. This is bullshit for the dumb masses. And they're always trying to basically, you know, even you up with animals and insects, rats and all. They're trying to tell you your built up is the same. You have the same kind of flu, same kind of disease and everything as these animals, all lies for the masses. And say, mm -hmm. I have this many dogs with this many symptoms. Mm -hmm. According to Dr. Teller, here's what to look for if your dog gets sick. Listen. Coughing that doesn't get better. Sneeze. Coughing and sneezing, people. Wow, unbelievable. So you see a dog continually coughing? This don't make no sense, people. What about sneezing? Now, the only way I ever see, in only cases I ever see a dog supposedly do something like a sneeze is when they sniff up some, some dust or something, irritate them. You understand? Because the dog always be smelling. Sometimes they, you know, they sniff and something get in their nose and they kind of like, you know, blow it back out or try to blow it out. That's the only way you hear a dog go close to be sneezing and coughing. This is bullshit for the dumb masses. Listen. Nasal or eye discharge, mm -hmm. lethargy, trouble breathing, mm -hmm. blue or purple gums due to wow. not getting enough oxygen. Mm -hmm. And our advice to, to dog mm -hmm. owners right Let's now listen. is to be cautious, yes. but to not freak out. Yeah, that cautious, but to not freak out. Because one thing I already told you, this is an operation. They're going to bring a vaccination for the dog. They might, they might not bring it in for this supposedly, you know, case. But of course, they have to poison your subconscious mind that the dog can get sick and die by these, you know, cold and flu type symptoms. So that means when they bring the shot, you're going to go get it for the dog. Move. Named respiratory illness Listen. is spreading among dogs and the mm -hmm. cause is a mystery tonight. Yeah, Don't so worry about it. They will give it a name soon. They already have the name just waiting. Acting like it's a supposed mystery is a bullshit. 100% fake shit for the dumb masses. And I mentioned they want to vaccinate the dog for these supposed symptoms right there. Pay attention. They said the dog have some kind of cold and flu symptoms. That means it have a virus. So, of course, they're going to bring the vaccination for the damn Tums dog. are listed as coughing, mm -hmm. coughing sneezing, sneezing, nasal and mm -hmm. or eye discharge. It's mm -hmm. described as a long-lasting respiratory disease mm -hmm. that can also cause pneumonia. So, so wow. clearly it this it can cause pneumonia, just like they tell you. They have this big pneumonia breakout in America right now amongst the youths. But they saying, hold on, don't be panicked. It's not the same one that they see in China. But hold on, they're telling you they're going to put a travel ban on China right now. You hear me? The same thing they tell you when they announce the COVID fakery. 
So you have to understand, people. Yes, something big is roaming in the air. They're going to bring out another virus targeting the youths. 100% in. Listen. Really very serious. And the illness has been reported now in 10 states. The closest go. here, not mm -hmm. that far away, Indiana and Illinois. Mm -hmm. And joining us live with some uh, advice for dog owners is the owner of Arbor Point mm -hmm. Veterinary Hospital in Canton. Yes, and they're and always going to come with advice, people, because they're really fucking with you. 100% in. It got nothing to do with the dog. They only use them to manipulate the people. That's why they convince you to bring the dog in your home, 100% in. Dr. Michael Petty. Mm -hmm. Dr. Yes, Petty, really are. appreciate your petty. time. I, I, what a I, joke. It's not confirmed in Michigan, as I just mentioned. It's close, so I, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you, if the best advice is to just act and assume as though mm -hmm. the illness is already here. Oh, I can assume that it's already here. Really good. Just like they're acting like the dog of the disease. That's how they do it. So, yes, all acting on TV to convince you. Listen. Nice. And here's why. Because, you know, as a general practitioner, veterinarian, we mm -hmm. see a lot of respiratory illnesses Listen. all the time. And, you know, we don't always know. We don't have um, uh, the ability to mm -hmm. do a quick diagnosis and know mm -hmm. it's caused by this or that. Yeah. And there's, a, there's at least a dozen of them out there. So when a dog comes in and it's acting sick, mm -hmm. you probably in light of this new emerging disease should take mm -hmm. it very seriously and another thing with you bringing your dogs to these vets remember the dog can't talk people the dog the dog can't share their feelings with you so therefore you bring your dog to a doctor how you're gonna tell that the doctor really helped the dog you never understand people you never get it like i mentioned with the human beings you go to the doctor for one for one you know problem and then you leave with a lot more because of the medication they're gonna prescribe to you are they gonna prescribe to you for the problem that you have gonna trigger off more chemical reaction and all is the same damn thing they're giving you with the dog and like i tell you yes this is how they're gonna get to you that's the reason why they give you the animals as pet so they can use it to joke you uh, mm -hmm. you know 12 of them out there respiratory illnesses you're mm -hmm. speaking of how often though do you hear about an illness like this where it doesn't even have a name mm -hmm. and it the cause is unknown mm -hmm. listen right this is mm -hmm. pretty new if the cause is unknown how can you tell it's a supposed to be virus what is it you don't know but you say it's a virus and you say it can be be treated by antibiotic Wow, what a joke for the masses. Listen. I mean, occasionally something will pop up and it turns out to be, you know, one of our old foes that we have treated in the past. Mm -hmm. However, this is, uh, uh, epidemiologist in New Hampshire has been looking at this for a year mm -hmm. and has been unable to identify it. Mm -hmm. They've been having cases in Oregon people. since August. All of these dogs, basically, if you go back a little bit, these dogs right here, just for entertainment for the people. No lie. Why did you do this to the dog? Now, by the way, this is one thing you need to pay attention to when it comes to dog. They manipulate the dog genes and DNA and all to bring you some strange looking dog. And I can go back. In my days when I was a young youth, I never seen these much different dogs. No lie. Some of these dogs never existed when I was a youth. But all of a sudden they start experimenting and, you know, breeding these dogs and switching them up. Even the, the English bulldog that everybody go crazy for, oh, he's so cute. It can't breed people. It's hard for them to breed naturally or they make them. They're the one who put the, 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 the dog genes and everything together to create that, that special looking dog with the nose cringy and everything. And it have a breeding problem. And those dogs... They expire faster. They die quicker because of what they do to actually get them to look like these. You cut off the ears. You cut off the tail. You do all of these things to the damn dog. What kind of shit is that? And at the same time, you turn around and say you love the pet. That's why you have him. So you can dress him up, tie the hair up, shave it this way, shave it that way, cut off the tail. All of these adjustments are even fix the dog, take out the hole inside. What kind of shit is that? And at the same time, 
You claim you love the dogs. That's why you have them in your home. Manipulating and doing all these wicked shit to the animal. Because the government allow it. That means it's good. Dumb on. Looking at this for a year. And has been Look unable to identify people. it. Look at the dog. They've been having cases in Oregon mm -hmm. since August. Mm -hmm. uh, and no one really knows. No one really and, knows. And Look at these dogs right here. These are the ones, like I tell you, manipulation bring them here. 100% in. Some of them got too much air. They can't see. Eyes all blacked up with air. They all of these complications, I'm not playing. It caused them to expire faster. Why did they do this? So they can uh, let you have a joy with a dog for 10 years or, or 8 years and then it expire. After you get your heart and soul attached to the animal, then the animal just going to fall and die. Expire fast. And what? You just go buy you another one. The world is stupid. Move. Well, this is intriguing Listen, for yes. sure. A drug look that at these two sodomites on screen right here. But this is intriguing as they look at each other to bring you this dumb story. As you could see, FOX666 in numerology and the two six right there. And if you know this, red and blue for the division, that's what they're about. Help Listen. dogs, large dogs, mm -hmm. live longer is inching mm -hmm. closer to getting FDA approval. Okay, so you listen. The FDA can approve some kind of, you know, I guess it's some kind of medication to make bigger dogs live longer. <laughs> Not every dog, but the bigger dogs, yeah, they're going to live longer. Pay attention to this right here. I told you, the world is just a stage. They give you the animal knowing the lifespan is short. You're going you're gonna to love it. You're going to fall in love. You're going to attach to it. And then the animal is going to die. So this is why they're joking you right here. Like I tell you, it's for manipulation. So now they're going to tell you they come up with a solution to make your dog live longer. Listen to this. Approved pet owners could get more time with their older animals. Oh, you hear that? So Celine Haliwa <laughs> is mm -hmm. the CEO of Loyal for Dogs, the mm -hmm. company developing the drug. Loyal she for joins dogs. us now live. Good morning, Celine. Good morning. Mm -hmm. So I understand you have cleared the first of three FDA approvals. Mm -hmm, We've course. never seen a drug like this Listen. before get approved. So tell us how this would be. You never see a drug like this get approved, but it's the new times, the end times you live in. You're going to see the... The most strangest drug on the table that gonna do the most strangest things to the masses. And now they're showing you even animals. Listen. Started in how it works to extend a dog's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Let's you see. would, if your veterinarian mm -hmm. describes, decides to prescribe it to you, mm -hmm. uh, you would go to your vet and get an injection Listen. every three to six months. Hear that, people? An injection for the dog every three to six months gonna make him live longer. Remember, the human being also got an expiration problem. <laughs> like I tell you, that's the alteration they did to human being so you can live in this box right here that they call the earth. Do you got it? In order for you to live in here and go with everything they give you, they have to alter you. So yes, the human being expire fast. They never solution that. Okay, they can't come up with a medication or injection to make the human beings live longer, but they can do it for dogs. Huh. Okay, listen here. The shoulder blades. It's very mm -hmm. similar to giving your dog a microchip. Mm -hmm. or my yeah, dog that? just got an osteoarthritis. Go back again. Every three to six months uh -huh. in between the shoulder blades. It's between very similar. the shoulder blade, that's where they're going to do the injection. Listen, people, this is a wicked act right here. But like I say, you think you're doing it for the best or the good for the dog. So you go ahead and do it without even checking on nothing. Listen here. Similar to giving your dog a microchip. A microchip. Or... Why? I just mentioned it like I tell you. It's the government manipulating you. That's why they chip the dog. You don't have no, no access to that information, man. I know somebody with their dog chip and the dog gone. The dog chase off and run off and they can't find the dog. He said, eh, like, hey, they... Doesn't the dog microchip? You tell you chip him. Oh, but chip, but don't have no information on it. The people who chip him, they, they're the one who have the information. And why? Why do they have the information about the chip in the dog? My dog go missing what I have to do. Contact you. 
It makes no sense, people. If you're going to chip the dog, it's supposed to be for your purposes. So you can understand what's going on with the dog. The dog come up missing you know where it's at. You can go get him. You understand what I'm saying? What would be the chip for? What reason is they chipping the dog? It's not to find a lost dog. So what the hell is the chip for? The chip is to manipulate you. It collecting data on you. Whatever you do around that dog, yes, it's on dada, 100% in. Listen. My dog just got an osteoarthritis drug uh -huh. or Listen. the same thing, uh -huh. quick in and out. Quick um, in and, and out. And at a high level, mm -hmm. the way it works is by compensating for what we think causes big dogs uh -huh. uh, to have shorter lifespans. What is it? Uh, the bigger a dog is, the shorter their lifespan is. Great Danes live, you know, seven years. A Chihuahua might live 17 years. I, I, I don't know, people. I don't know. Some of those little dogs don't live for long. No lie. I used to have one of them shit so when he died quick. No lie. It didn't live for about maybe about eight, maybe about ten years. Expire. A matter of fact, she was sick way before that. Having complication and can't breathe right and all of these things like I don't tell you. Is the way how they create those dogs in them labs. That's why they have complications. That's why they die quick. You have to understand that. It's not because it's a big dog. I doubt that, people. That is because it's a big dog. The big dog die quicker. Now, I got a bigger dog than a Shih Tzu. And that dog I have since 2010. 2010. So that dog living over 13 years and still going and don't show no signs of old or... So I don't understand why would they say it's the big dog. I have the experience of the small dog die quicker as far as the, the, the time span, the lifespan. So I don't understand. I don't believe that people. It's not the size of the dog, but more like the type of dog. How they create those dogs in labs have a lot to do with their lifespan again and we think this is not inherent or natural mm -hmm. but instead a unintended consequence of historic inbreeding for size and Hold so on. but instead go a back listen listen what they're saying here people listen their lifespans Life uh, the bigger mm -hmm. a dog is the shorter their lifespan is mm -hmm. great danes live you know seven years a chihuahua might live 17 years uh -huh. And we think this is not inherent or natural. It's, it's not natural. As you can see him put up the Baphomet sign to show you, it's not natural. But listen, people, listen to where they're going. And we think this is not inherent or it's natural, not natural. Mm -hmm. but instead a unintended consequence of historic inbreeding for size. You hear that, and people? Just an un, un, unidentified or unexpected thing just happened right there. And they breed the dogs and the big one die quicker. No. Bullshit. Or natural, but instead a unintended consequence of historic unintended breeding for size. And breeding. so the drug compensates for that mistake to hopefully give us more time with wow. our luxury. Wow. So the drug that they're going to give the dog compensate for that mistake that they made in the lab in creating the dog. You hear that, people? Unbelievable. How did they come up with that injection? To give the dog to make him live longer. Where did they get it from? What is that? I already told you it's a fake shit. 100% in. Just another way to manipulate you to the dogs. And I mentioned that the dog, the chip that the dog is having can be affecting you, taking your dada. Don't mention the shots that the dog have. Yes, they're shedding, they're doing all of these things. Around you can affect you. So them pies in the dog, it can lead to you getting poisoned also. I'm not playing here. A lot of things they want to get through to you, they can just give it to your dog. 100%. The dog is that close to you where they can give the dog the poison and it get through to you. No lie. The same way I mentioned the chip, same way they're going to get your information from you even though you have no idea. This is what they do. And like I say, you shouldn't have pet to begin with. Shout out to Larry, man. And Nagin. Yes, bitter truth. Supporter. You know what I mean? VIP style in the Patreon. 
I appreciate all your man. Much respect. I'm on the run. Bam.